friends, good morning, it is Sonya. It is Sonya coming to you live from Junk Monkey Paint Company. How is everybody out there doing today? Happy Tuesday. I was gonna do this live yesterday afternoon, got set up to go live, and what happened, like the world ended and Facebook decided to go wah, wah, wah. Anybody a part of that was like, why won't you load up? Why won't you load up yesterday afternoon? So, hence, this is why I'm on a little bit earlier this morning. Plus, I gotta tell you, like it is hot, hot, hot. It is so hot and like probably humid is the is the thing that I know that if I knock this live out earlier in the day versus later because I'm thinking after lunch that my studio is going to heat up. Anybody else feeling the heat out there this morning? I was actually reading an article this morning that it said some schools in the area uh, were considering letting students out early because it is so they use the word scorcher, okay? It's really hot. And it's humid, like sweaty, sweaty humid. Hey, Susan. Hey, Mom and Dad. I'll see you this weekend. Hey, Rochelle. Hey, Stephanie. So, um, yesterday, I worked on the front part of this bag. Now, I'm going to do the back part. As you guys know, I'm traveling, going back to my home in Canada, in Newfoundland, later this week. And so, as I'm getting everything ready, and a girl can't just keep her hands out of supplies, like creativity and supplies and paint and all that good stuff, I'm like, I need to grab a bag to take with me that's just purely all my you know my stuff to do I'm gonna be taking ferries to get there long long boat rides and stuff so I want to be able to have my a bag containing things that I can do right and so I was at my local Wally World and I was this close to buying a new bag and I'm like you know what I'm pretty sure I got something home that I can like repurpose reuse cuz that's just what I love to do and I have had this brown literally brownie frowny computer bag this, look, you can see, it's like, it's all clean and stuff, but it's just scuffed up and messy because it's been around for a few years. So I wiped it down with Lysol wipes inside and out, and then I did the first part of it yesterday real quick, and now I'm going to do the other side, okay, because I've been getting a lot of questions sent in about, okay, talk to me more about how you did this bag, what do you do, it's really not that hard, so we're going to knock out the front of it together and uh, make it make it my style and beautiful for me to repurpose and throw all my stuff into, right? Hey, Bridget, how are you? Hey, Barbara, I'm sending love back to you, girl, in Texas. So, uh, yeah, so let's do some banana bucks today so you guys can get in on the Junk Monkey Love $20 to somebody who shares this video today, hangs out with us. Make sure you type shared so we know that you shared. Kate's on the other end. She's going to pick a, so you can stuff all up to her, okay? She's right here. Say hello to Kate. Everybody say hello to Kate. So she's on the other side, and uh, hey, Kate, on the other side. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So at the very end of the video, we'll holler out somebody's name. $20 in banana bucks to be used at junkmonkeypaint.com. And if your name is selected, you have until midnight tonight, which is a whole lot of time to get a hold of us at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Put winner, winner in the subject line so we don't miss your email. Okay? Sound good? All right. Hello, Alabama. Hey, Pam. How are you? Hey, Jan. So, you ready? You ready to knock it out? Okay. So, yes. So, I, you know... Anybody else feel like they have a million bags and it's because you buy another one and uh, but you're like, I can't get rid of the other one. So this one has served its purpose, its time in this form that it's been in. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it some junk monkey love. So it's already brownie frowny. Need some love. Looking tired. I use this for my computer bag. Oh my gosh. Over the last few years. Now I got a new one in the last year. So now it's time to like, you know, give it some love. So I'm going to add a little bit of our black velvet to it right now because I kind of want to darken it even more. So this bag is like half canvas, half kind of fabric-y right here. So this is fun because you can do this to like book covers and things like that. You know, whatever you want. So instead of throwing it away, I'm going to give it some new life, new love. And I think because of the fact that it is going to be a bag that will contain my crafting supplies, I think it's quite appropriate that we put some paint on it, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put some paint on it. So I'm darkening the back a little bit more because you know that I love me. I always say I go to the dark side. I love darky and tiki. Love it, love it, love it. I got my heat gun I'm near me. I'm gonna just pull it out real quick. Let that dry real fast because I don't want black to basically get mixed in with the next color I'm gonna use and really turn it into a different color, right? Did you know you can blend the junk monkey? All right, so there we go. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Easy peasy, easy peasy. So what's everybody up to today? What's the temperature like where you're at? Is it a scotcha? All right, let's add a little bit more. Now I'm gonna do some of my Teal River, which is a pretty blue teal color. I love it. 
just to give it some extra, I like a background pattern, right? Like when I do this effect. You guys saw me paint my journal, right? Which is one of the things that I did a speed up version. So this is a live version if you want to ask me questions as I'm going. But um, I did a speed up video, what I call, like a really quick time lapse video with me painting my journal. And it came out so awesome. And believe it or not, I decided to do this bag as a matching set. So now I have my own little matching set, which is cool. All right, in fact, for anybody who didn't see the journal, it's right here. Let me grab it real fast for you. So you can see the look that we're going for today, right? And this is one of the things that I will put in the bag, which I'm going to be vlogging later today with all the contents of what I put in this bag. But basically, yeah, it was just a regular, let me see if you can see the back, just like a regular journal. But you see how cool that is? So my, I'm going to make this look like, make this, make this look like this and, uh, you know, go for it. All right, let's do a quick dry on that part. So again, when I start to put stuff on it, it will, a different color on it, it won't, it'll keep that true color more. All right, and now is where we have fun. So this is where I collect stencils, and I went through my stencil book, and I pulled out like just a few that I have that has patterns on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, pattern stencils, right? These are fun to use. I just went through my stencil book. If you want to get the same stencil book as I do, because this is how I save my stencils in a big old book like this, just go over to junkmonkeypaint.com and you will see Sonia's favorite things. And I have it linked there for 15 bucks. It's life changing for a painter who doesn't want to lose their, their stash, right? So now I can pick in any order I want, any sort of like basically pattern I want to put on this. So let's see here. Let me just separate some of these real quick. And we'll start the process. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and I'm just using my shabby chip brushes that I use over and over again, right? That's why they look like they've been used. Shows where the love has been. And now we just begin the process of like any colors we want. So I'm gonna pull out some of my crazy eyes, this red, orange, vivacious color, which I love, and put on it. So no, I'm not putting um, any water in my paint when I do this, okay? You can totally, our paint is very much made, what I call to be a chunky monkey, it's the way I like it. And so I can stencil and it helps me avoid bleed throughs because it is a chunky monkey, but at any given time that I want to, um, if I ever wanna like make it thinner, I can do that as well. So sometimes when you see me paint like fabric decor, I will go ahead and put a little bit of water with it, right? But I don't need it in this case because this is a stiff computer bag and we want it to stay that way. So I'm not worried um, about having to add some water, right? But you can al always do that with our paint, blend it and that sort of thing. But there is no need to water down for, for a project like this, right? So, you know, if I was painting a little cute stool to sit in the corner and I don't even, it's, I'm not even intending to use it, I don't even really have to use any uh, water if I don't want to. So there you go. I love it. The cool thing is with, with the consistency of her paint, you know, you see me um, use typically, it's very rare that I go in for a second, uh, even a second layer because it's just such a nice consistency. All right, ooh, let's, what do you guys think it's so far, all right? Schnazzy. Boy, do you like that teal and that um, crazy eyes together? This is how I get ideas. When you create every single day and you just start pulling out color uh, combinations and you're like, hmm. I like that. I love that. All right, let's add some purple in as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another stencil. And you can just put them anywhere, anywhere you want, whatever makes you happy. The other side had a pocket on it, so you know I had to like maneuver with my fingers a little bit more and make sure my stencil made good connection. But um, this side is like a whole canvas. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So you know what, if you need a creative bag to be on the go with you, you know, even if you don't have one yourself, go to Goodwill and, or, you know, a thrift store that's near you and just pick up a bag that serves the purpose, right? Like that opens enough, opens wide enough to be able to give you, um, you know, the area that you need to be able to uh, fill it with. And then, you know what, who cares about the color? Because you can put, you know, whatever background color you want on it and just use your uh, junk monkey paints to bring it all to life Ooh, you like that little bit of the blue right there i do too so i love this look because i'm a shabby lover and i also 
am a very much boho kind of lover, collected look kind of lover. This reminds me of broken tile kind of look, you know, and it's full of color. So now I've got it just kind of like evened out. Do you see how I'm not even making use of the entire thing, right? Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, somebody's having a hurricane party. Listen, if Matt was here right now, I'm sure he would tell us some stories of him living in the uh, barracks of the Marine Corps because I remember a few. When I hear hurricane party, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Marines with too much time on their hands, right? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Thanks, Amaryllis. You know, um, yeah, it's just, just a fun thing that you can do, right? So, and, and experiment with it. And at the end of the day, if your bag was old and tired and, you know, you're just, you know, ready to throw out your old computer bag or whatnot, then, you know what, it's, it's kind of like a win-win because if you do it and you like it, then you're like, well, heck, I was going to throw that out. And now you get to keep it, right? So it's fun. Maybe you craft with the, uh, you know, the kitties come over to craft with. Maybe you have a crafting um, bag where you can keep all your supplies in, right? And then everybody would be like, can you take out, you know, Nana, can you take out your, your, your color crafting bag? I'm gonna go in now for some, that was like a terrible rendition of a little child's voice, wasn't it? Man, that was, I even scared myself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some uh, Lucky Clover, but you get the point, right? I remember when I used to go to my uh, grandmother's house and she had her knitting bag, like she was creative. She used to knit and do needlepoint and all that sort of stuff. And that's when I really got creative, you know, working with her and I would always, I'd see her and I was fascinated at how she would knit you know, I tried knitting Barbie scarves. I couldn't even knit Barbie scarves that came out the right way, but that's okay, you know. I still use them and loved them and made them myself and was proud of them. But uh, she would show me how to do just like little projects like that. But I remember she used to have these knitting bags and I kid you not, I was fascinated because I just knew, I'd be like, what are you gonna do, Nan, with, um, with that little bit of wool you have left over in a ball, right? And so I would make pom-poms out of them and uh, little, just little figures where, you know, that you could make and that was the days before Pinterest right so you know you made what you really used your imagination then but man so yeah I remember at one point I used to like braid the wool and make these little little figures um, that was pretty cool and stick googly eyes on them like I was all about it I was all about it all right let me go ahead and dry this portion a little bit memories are good aren't they so when I go home to Newfoundland this week, I'm gonna take you to my grandmother's house and I'm gonna do some videos. And you know what, you'll be able to see where it was that I grew up. You'll probably understand why I'm definitely drawn to shabby, to mermaids. Oh, I gotta show you guys. Somebody dropped off some Happy Meal to me and it was so kind. It has a, um, a seahorse on it. Let me go grab it for you before I end this video. And I have to tell you um, that, yeah, Cece sent me some stuff last week. Do you remember I opened my bag? And she messaged me, and she's like, you forgot one thing in your packaging. Don't throw it away. And it was so cute, so cute. So I'll share with you guys what it is in, uh, when I, before I get done here. But, yeah, I get to go home, and uh, Mom's on here. So I've already told her. In fact, I was talking to her last night. I'm like, Mom, we're going to do some video when I come up, right? And, like, my mother makes the best food in the old the, the world okay I'm telling you and this is true like she okay and it's not just because I'm her daughter but can I tell you guys something that's really cool about my my mother is that she operates a little well, it's just a small place right a cozy little tea room whatever you want to call it and um, you know it's really branched out over the years but she has been voted um, one of the top 50 places to eat in Canada in the entire country over the last like she's like kept that title for the last 10 years if not more and if mom is if you're on here you can say how many years it's been it's been like a, a crazy amount of years it's because people keep coming and um, because she's all about good food good times my dad plays music so trust me you get the whole experience when you visit where I'm from and my mom and dad's business. And so I'm gonna give you guys a front row seat and commits my mother to do a little bit of uh, traditional Newfoundland baking. Anybody on here from Newfoundland? If you're from Newfoundland, I would love to know where you're watching from. That would be so cool. Right now I'm coming to you guys live from south of, southwestern Pennsylvania um, of Pittsburgh here, probably about 45 minutes from Pittsburgh to an hour. 
depending on how fast you drive in the lights. But this is where I make my home now, but I love to go back home. This visit is way overdue, and so I am so excited. So I'm gonna be vlogging. Make sure you don't miss anything. If you go to YouTube when I'm done here, make sure you go over and um, you subscribe to my channel over there as I'm talking and doing what I'm doing. Subscribe to, uh, to my channel over there so that way you don't miss my vlogs, okay? Lots of behind the scenes stuff. I cannot positively wait. Hey guys, were you on here? What day did we do this? Was it Friday, I think it was? We did this little cute sign right here and uh, I showed you the stencil that I used for that one. This is all part of it, and I only paid a couple dollars for it. Like, so when I buy stencils, they have words, but you know how sometimes you get this little piece that just has like just some patterns on it. Like, this is perfect to keep in your stencil book and pull out when you're ready to go ahead. Like, you know, that little flower would be so cool there, right? Or some of those little patterns right there. So let me go ahead and pick out. Let's do some purple. We haven't done any purple. We did some yellow. All right, there we go. But yeah, hey Tammy. Thank you for sharing. Oh, there's a feather too. I can make use of that for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and put some of this one over right here on it. Again, you just let your brush, basically to, to do this like tattered, really cool fabric look, you know, just, you don't worry. You just, you do, you just grab a brush and you go bananas. It's, it's pretty much simple, just like that. I'm gonna do this feather as well because I think that's kind of cool right there. Oh, I like that. All right. So I'm gonna do like something in the center here I've got in mind. So I'll show you what that is in just a second. But I right now I just wanna add in a bunch of colors and really build it up. So you can build it up as much as you want. But for me, I like to like have a nice cluttered kind of a background going on. Do you know what I mean? It's that shabbiness. Now let's go ahead and use some Bahama Jade because we haven't used Bahama Jade and Bahama Jade is my jam. I love, love, love this. Yay, you have Dana, thank you. Well, thank you, I appreciate you saying that you love this. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one more. All right, I'll use that for the end. Let me see here, is there one that I haven't made use of that I have here on my stash? I got that one. How about we put it, use a corner of this thing right here? I think that could be cool. Oh, well, you know what? I know which one I could use as well. Hmm, got me thinking here now. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this. So remember, build your colors up when you stencil. Don't use a whole lot of paint at the time, at the first time you put it down. But if I wanna build it up, like say for example, I took this back and I went, like that's good for me. But let's say for example, I wanted to make that darker. I build it up with my first light layer and then I put this back over it and I go, okay, I want it to be a little bit darker and pop a little bit more. So I can put my stencil right back on that area and just like make it pop a little bit more until I want, right? But the thing is, less is more. So you need to make sure that you are going very, very light with your paint, okay? Put this right here. This is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Oh, I love that. Right there, isn't that cool? Maybe I need something, well, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let's do this because I think on the front side, if I can find it, if she didn't fly away, I have a mermaid stencil, and I think I'm gonna put my mermaid on the front. How cool would that be? Yay, there she is. There she is, right there, my uh, $2.99 mermaid stencil find at Hob Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that's where I got that one. Hobby Lobby has a great selection of stencils. They change it out all the time, so make sure you, if you see a stencil that you like, don't be like, oh, I'll come back later, because chances are, somebody else is gonna grab it and you're gonna be mighty disappointed when you come back because they've changed out their stencils at that point, right? All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this mermaid right here. I think that would be so cool. What do you guys think? Right there, right there. You like that one? And I'll fill out around her, it'll be so nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, yes, right, that's what I think. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my antique lace. And so here's my trick, okay? Here's my trick, take note of what I did because I've got a very, very colorful background, right? And I used all my colors. So now the reason why I'm going with my antique lace for the front, or you could use vintage white, or, you know, that's probably the most like boldest whites, you know what I'm saying? When you get into pinks or light blues, those are gonna pop a little bit more, but not as much as if you went and you picked a white up, right? So this is why I'm gonna go with a, um, a light color 
to make her pop against all the busyness of the background. Does that make sense? All right, let me see if I have another brush here that's nice and not in, uh, in any paint color because I don't want my paint color to get blend it with another. All right, fold over the base so we're good to go. What do you guys think? You ready? Hold your breath. We got this. We got this. Oh, I like that. All right, Miss Mermaid, you stay still. So um, you see me offloading my paint into the paint, offload on the sides, shabby chip brush, and do my finger acrobatics, where basically I move my finger around as I cover each area. I could put that little shell up there if I want. We'll see. We shall see. How about that? We shall see. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? All right, I'm gonna go all the way over here. Ooh, thank you, Kate. All right, so let's get her hair. All that over there. I might hit that little starfish right there. Guys, when I go up home, I cannot wait to go down to the water and see the starfish and the jellyfish. I am so excited, so excited. I'll take you to my favorite place in La Cie, where I'm from. La Cie is French for, La Cie is French for the, um, the Saul because the hills around where I'm from is like the teeth of a Saul. But it's on the bay, it's on the ocean, and um, I just cannot wait to show you guys where I'm from. It's gonna be so awesome. All right, you ready? I wanna make sure I got, got the edge of her hair right there, like that. Okay, you ready? The other thing is you guys gotta get ready for some good island mu music as well. I just had to tell you, I come from a musical family. So we're gonna experience some island music as well. You guys ready? Oh, oh yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Ooh, my foot touched the heat gun top. Don't do that to yourself. Okay, move it. Move, move the heat gun from away from your feet. That's always a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and bring in some more of uh, this light that I have going on here because I don't just want it to sit right there in the middle, right? I need to even it out, I need to balance it. So I'm gonna balance it with some polka dots. With some polka dots, all right? So same color, going back, same process. And let's go as much as we want. Oh yeah, you see those the really cool polka dots right there? I like it. So now, remember that area down here? I'm like, I feel like I need something down there. Here's where I'm gonna go ahead and bring some of those polka dots down there. So you can find polka dots of different so styles, not styles, of course, polka dots, polka dot, everywhere you go, but uh, sizes. So having like random size polka dots and stuff like that, that's what's really cool to have in your stash, right? So you can take it out and uh, do different looks. So like I'll show you. Let me just get the, those all around. They kind of remind me of like bubbles too, right? Which would make sense for a mermaid. Let's put a little bit right there. Bring that color around. There. Ooh, I love it. All right, so like to give you an example, this is uh, a sheet of, a sheet of, you can see I've used my polka dots here before. This came from Walmart. No, I lied. This came from, I know this show off, um, this one came from Hobby Lobby. I know this tag. $2.99, right? And use your coupon if you want to get it even cheaper. You know what I'm saying? So I want to put some little smaller polka dots. I can do that as well. Just to kind of like put a little bit in there. Do the shimmy with our brush. Ooh, I like that. You guys like those little small ones I just put in there? Isn't that pretty? So yeah, if you got a little girl in your life and you're like, you know, bring over your purse. You know, let's make it pretty. Girls like that. Girls like that. Girls like rhinestones, all kinds of stuff that you could bling up your, your bag with and, you know, to hold your crayons or your colored pencils and it could be your art bag. Ooh, I love it. And the cool thing is if you paint your bag like this, you'll never lose it. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you paint it colorful like this, you'll never lose it, right? There is no mistaking 
that your bag will get like, you know, you know what, paint your suitcase. Your suitcase will never get lost at the airport again. Ooh, I like that. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more because I am into the polka dots. Anybody else love polka dots? Like I gotta tell you, I'm a polka dot lover. I like fun stuff. All right, anywhere else you think I should put them, this will actually be the bottom right here. Do you guys see any more where I should do them? Boom, 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 boom. I guess I could put a few right here, just a couple. We don't want to overdo it, but I am a polka dot lover. So here's where you get to, we got some big ones up there. So we're good there. All right. I'm really happy with that. Now, I don't think there was anything on the mermaid. Let me see if there's anything else I want to put on here. I guess I could put on a seahorse. Got some clamshells. How about we'll put some clamshells right here? Just for some funness. You realize there are no rules in creativity, right? So when you're doing this, there is no, oh, I shouldn't have put those there. You understand that, right? You just, you just go at it, you do what makes your heart happy, and at the end of the day, if you're happy with it, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So I give you full permission to just have fun, break out the stencils you do have, make use of them. Oh, that was cool. That shell there. Let's see what else is in here. We got a little seahorse. We could put the seahorse somewhere. Let's put the seahorse over here. Do we have space for the seahorse? Yes, we've always got, always got space for a seahorse. Who am I kidding? All right, so there we go. We put the little seahorse right there. I think he's cute. And I got starfish on there. We got our clams. I think we got everything covered. Yay! All right, so I like that. So let me dry that real quick. I'll come give you a few other tips real fast. Thank you, I'm glad you love it. I'm glad you love it. So for a bag that I just haven't been using, it's been tired and worn and just needed a, a, you know, a new life. It just can't sit there in the closet forever. It just needs, it needs some new life to be used or to be donated. To somebody else or do something with it and this one was you know it already had paint on it by accident of just you know if you saw my my video yesterday just living with me it had paint on it so here's what I would do do you see right here I got a little bit of the uh, paint right there on my straps so I can paint my straps if I want but I'm deciding to leave mine the way they are I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my crud cutter real quick before that completely sets off and that way I can keep the um, you know I can get rid of this part right here and it's gone I use my crud cutter and my Lysol wipes to clean um, if I have any paint splatters. That way it keeps my, you know, the straps look like they should. There's no paint on there. Or if there's anywhere I wanted to get paint off of. But, you know, that's my bottom down there, so I'm not too concerned with that. I can turn it over if it really bothers me, but nobody's going to see it because the bag will sit the other way up. All right, so now we're done. No, the paint is not gonna fall off of it. It is just stuck on there now, right? It's, it's absolutely stuck on there. Could I sand this if I wanted to stress it more? You betcha I could distress it more if I want to. But using my shabby chip brush, I've got such a shabby-fied look that I'm just happy where that is. So now you're gonna ask me, okay, how do you protect that? Like, what do you have to do? Do I have to seal it? So here is, yes, I'm gonna seal it, and that way it'll protect it. So this is what I wanna use when I seal it. Let me see if I can turn this around for you guys. Uh, give me a moment here so you can read it and maybe do a screenshot, help somebody else out there. Okay, let's see if Facebook's gonna work today. No Facebook, I don't wanna filter. Don't wanna look like a rabbit today. Let's see here, there you go. Can you see it? Scotch guard. Okay, so it says, I got this at Walmart, Fabric Crafts Protector. And it says repels liquids and blocks stains. And so this is what I like to seal my fabric with. And it's really easy. I mean, it even shows you there's pillows, there's scarves. There's somebody who had a fabric bag and this is like a blanket on here. Just kind of showing you the super, the kind of stuff that it's used for. So this is great for like crafty, painting fabric, that sort of thing. So the only thing is I spray it outside. So I will take this bag outside, put it on my step outside and do a nice spray over because I don't want scotch guard in my lungs, right? So just be safe with that when you're using a spray. So that's what I'm gonna do. And once I spray it over, what happens, believe it or not, is just like we seal with Monkey Shine and Banana Peel, once this hits 
you'll see you'll be able to see the places that it hits because it will really sharpen all those colors even more and then I'll do a uh, photo of it as well at the very end before I uh, before I leave the shop today so that way I'll post it on Facebook so you guys can see it but yeah like how easy is this right so this is a bag that really just had no life left in it and um, now we are good to go. I love that. I love that. So what I'm going to do, and look, guys, it has a pink interior. So how cute is that? How cute is that? I could even add some, if I wanted to, I would add some berry dance to it to make it match the uh, pink interior, which would be super cute as well. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to spray this. It'll dry really quickly, probably like, I was going to say within a half an hour, but truthfully with the heat today, it'll probably dry like... I'd say within like 15 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start packing my bag. So I'm gonna vlog today over my YouTube channel what I put in the bag to take with me in terms of my you know, creative supplies. What do I take with me on the road when I can't take my entire studio with me? And you still have that feeling like you wanna get creative. And for me, it's a long drive back to Canada. And so I'll be taking multiple ferries. So I think I have one that's about five and a half hours and another that's about seven-ish hours. So I'm going to have a long time, right? It's like sitting on a plane, but instead you're on a boat on the ocean. So I am going to take this mermaid with me. And I will share with you guys um, on my vlog what I put into it. How fun is that? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I like it. I like it. What do you guys think? Super cute, right? Oh, I would love to see uh, if you guys do this. Like you have a bag around your house and you're just tired with it and you want to do something uh, different with it and see what you do, make sure you post a picture over at Jungle Monkey Paint Project so we can show it off to everybody what you do, right? But heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. I'm, I'm definitely, I like the bags that have the shoulder straps, right? So this was, this is the back side here, right here, this is the front side. Oh yeah, let it all hang out right there. So anyway, that's going to be so fun. All right guys, so actually I'll wear my bag while I'm while I'm going to announce the winner. How nice that orange goes with that. I love it. All right, so for somebody who was hanging out with me today on our live, this is the back side. It has like the little um, pocket right there. And then this will be the front with the mermaid. So I went, went like pattern on the back, classic mermaid girl on the front. All right, are you guys ready to see? Actually, I gotta show you too. I'll haul out her name and then I'll show you the two other things that uh, that you guys sent in to me. Okay, and I missed Cece's gift the other day and uh, I almost threw away something that was in the bag that she sent me. So I gotta show, what, show you what it is. All right, so the winner today is Don Shell. I find it ironic that uh, Kate picked Don Shell. Maybe subconsciously we would like put on mermaid shells and you know, shells today, but Don Shell. Don Shell, girl, you're going to Shell City, baby. Shell City with $20 in banana bucks, all right? Just email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, all right? Yay, Don Show! Yay, yay, yay! All right, so I gotta show you my other mermaid inspired things, guys. You guys are so kind. So, give me a second. I'm getting them. It's right here in my studio. Right here in my studio. Give me a moment. All right, here we go. So, I gotta show ya. That you guys know I love mermaids, right? And you send me you send me mermazing mail. Mermazing mail! Because when you see it, you're like, I think of you, you're so kind. So Cece gifted me some beautiful things this past Friday. She sent them to me. And uh, she's like, check your bag again, girl. There was something else in there. I don't want you to throw it away. So I think you're mermazing. And I love this bag. So guess what? I'm gonna give you tell you one thing. This is gonna be going in the mermaid bag. This is totally going to be going in the mermaid bag. And then this is from Deborah, who is a local Joke, Joke Monkey fan. She was in here on Saturday, and she was, like, in my shop. And she's like, girl, I was at Lowe's, and I saw these pillows, and we thought of you. And so I'm so happy to help Dawn and her son out with their paint projects. And um, so look, yeah, like this really cool, it looks like this really splattered watercolory like, background, definitely ocean. And then it's this beautiful mer uh, metallic um design on the front of it so i am going to you guys just wait until i get my studio put together here i'll take you on a tour of it so i'm going to put this in a corner um in a chair my thinking chair and it'll be so awesome right so i love it love it love it so thank you thank you thank you deborah and cc that is so sweet of you 
You guys treat me too well. All right, so this is my mermaid bag. I'm gonna jump off of here and film my vlog for YouTube. Pack this sucker up, but first I gotta go out and spray it, right? Let's just spray it and protect it because we did a lot of fun work on this. We gotta keep it in place. And uh, I will see you guys over on YouTube in just a little bit, all right? See you, Donna. I'm out of here too, girl. You guys take care. Go have fun with your stencils. And I'll see you on YouTube a little bit later today. Bye.